What's up, everyone? Toe MTG here. My face, in case you guys were wondering what I look like. Yee. For those who don't believe I am Toe MTG, here's that play mat I'm always showcasing. Yes, One Piece, of course. The best manga and anime. Which, for those who are all caught up with the manga, please, no spoilers. For those who are caught up in the, manga, in the anime, ooh. Let me know what you think about Gear 5 when that's all done and said and done. Also proof. Collection. Yeah. My prize. Yeah, I know how to point things. My prize pool. The Yargo. Yeah, and the monkey. All right. So the reason why I'm making this video and not the typical box break video that I normally do is kind of just want to go over the... um. Kind of like the, how should I say it? I guess the the goals or the kind of like the plan for this channel and what this channel as always it was meant to just be like a like a small like kind of thing. So with the whole quest for a thousand share, we could still do that. Uh, there won't be any sort of time limit on that anymore. I know it was very silly of the last video for me to even explain it or to even be like, yeah, let's do it by September. That was me being an over ambitious starting rookie YouTuber. And uh, I do want to apologize for anyone who was offended or anything like that. So let me just start ground zero about Toe MTG, where all this is just going to be box breaks shorts then in there like uh if you guys have been paying attention or noticing i've been doing small little shorts of breaking open these draft packs the main highlights been a vampiric tutor and yogmoth so far while the rice well you just have to see to find out and also commander insights like when i did one with there you go. With Ural, the Mistalker. And speaking of Commander, it's something I want to actually mention. So I'm going to start doing Commander gameplays for you guys. Um, it may not be edited to where I'm voiced over or anything like that. Kind of like MTG Musta. Um, big fan of his, actually, Andrew. I know it's your birthday. I believe it was like a week ago. Happy birthday. If you ever watched or if you take the time to watch my channel that'd be awesome um so it won't be anything like that it'll most likely just be top down we're all just going to talk we're going to have fun you may hear my daughter sometimes in there because she will be with me while we are uh, playing um and yeah it's just really just to have fun um it for now it's just going to be testing to see how it goes if it does become big like bigger than uh, expected then i'll start inviting people like uh people from like the area currently we live i live in like eight oklahoma area so anywhere like somewhere someone in the city or anything like that they could come swing by to the uh, lgs in the area if the owner allows me to record in this uh, studio which uh, we're actually in the talks to doing that if not it the setting may be elsewhere we don't know that um but is basically it's primarily going to be four man pod um or four people pod i should say not man um and it's just gonna be fun uh for those who are wondering yes we will allow proxies uh we may have a limit on like the amount or not amount but i guess the limit of the value of the proxy so that way no one comes by with like a proxy cyclonic rift or proxy cavern of souls or anything like that unless they own it and they don't want to play with it my rule is if you own the card and we know that you own the card why like why not you know uh for example i am not gonna play with a 88 to 500 yargle no way so if i can't find another yargle which i know they're super cheap then I'm just going to proxy it. Even with the Kenrith, the Halo Foil Kenrith. I, if I, 
decide not to buy an actual copy of the Ken Breath and just have that as my only copy, then I'm going to proxy it because I ain't going about to play with the Halo 4 Ken Breath. That'd be dumb. And we all know that. Um, so, let me actually see. I'm going to go over. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, super weird sorry so uh to kind of go over what's going to happen from there too uh just because i am going to be doing commander gameplays here in the future it does not mean i'm going to stop doing box breaks i will still be doing box breaks uh the next few episodes will consist of this and the following week this this is what i'm really looking forward to anyone like, who's going to be watching? Yes, it is going to be a Japanese box. And it's going to be awesome. Still going to be looking forward to opening it. We will still be doing giveaways. Uh, a sneak peek of the next giveaway. We'll be... Sorry. Still kind of shuffling around. Sneak peek of the next giveaway will be this disallow. And... Surprise card. Two. Usually I only do one. This time I'm going to do two. Because you guys are awesome. So, all you have to do is just watch out for the video. It will come out tomorrow. I'll be posting this today, Friday, uh, May 19th. Uh, so, tomorrow is when I'll post this next one that's going to have those two giveaways. Rules will be there in the video. Everything to sort there, and then we'll continue to do that. And uh, what I'll do from now on is just to keep it small, keep it like, keep it still fresh with the channel, but also kind of like reaching out for those milestones is, I don't know if you actually have been noticing or seeing me posting things on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'm trying to get a TikTok. I did have it open, but I guess now it's under review. I guess they're thinking that I may be stealing someone's content, but I don't know. I, that's just something I read online, uh, but I am in the process of doing the verification, so I'm just waiting for them to come back. Um, but if we like, if we do reach 100, like 100 subscribers, because that's a big milestone. Getting the first 100 is usually the hardest. Then at that point, I'll be able to do a Dominator United collector box break. All the box breaks I'll do for subscribers are all going to be collectors. So you don't have to worry about me opening up like a set booster or a draft booster unless they are older than Throne of Eldrain. I believe that's when the first time they did uh, collector boxes. Uh, but yeah, uh, looking forward to continuing to build up the channel, looking forward to continuing to do some box breaks, do some commander matches, you know, showcase my Euro deck. I do also have a Rune of the Hidden Realm deck and a Wilhelm deck that I've been posting on Facebook everywhere, how much fun it is. So I do want to showcase that to everyone here and on YouTube. Um, but if you don't mind following me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, once I do get the verification up with TikTok, I'll let you guys know so you guys can start following that as well. Uh, that will be awesome. You guys are great. I love you guys. And looking forward to creating more contact for you. Have a good day, guys.